to Jesus I surrender. Do you know God is so powerful that even if he lied, it would be the truth? Like, like if God said, you know, the sky is green. The sky would turn green because God said so. This is how powerful God is. Let me tell you a story. story. Before I had Jesus Christ, when I was not I used to do drugs. When I was uh, sad. I do drugs. When I was happy, celebrate with drugs. When I'm angry, calm down with drugs. Now, other than drugs destroying your life, there's, a, there's another thing that's hard about drugs. Any, anybody who ever did drugs or tried to get off drugs can relate to this. The withdrawal. The withdrawals. So every time you get off the drug, your body is used to that drug. The receptors in your body are used to processing that drug. So when you stop doing that drug, your body's like, yo, where's the drugs? And so it starts sending, it starts sending signals to your brain. Hey, send, send, go do drugs. Go do more drugs. Where are the drugs? This is what happens when you go through withdrawal. Like people who drink a lot of coffee, when they stop drinking coffee, they get headaches. People who are alcoholics, when they stop drinking, they get the shakes. People when they do cocaine and they stop doing cocaine, they get angry. People who smoke a lot of weed, when they stop smoking weed, it's hard for them to eat and sleep. These are the withdrawals that you go through when you do drugs. It's a shock to your system. So the same thing happens when you accept Christ. Your body is used to sinning. Your body is used to being selfish. Your body is used to fornicating. Your body is used to doing drugs. Now, in the real world, when you go through withdrawals, nine times out of ten, they'll give you another drug to, uh, to quench those symptoms. But when you have Christ Jesus, the withdrawals are managed by the Holy Spirit. That's what the sanctification process is. That's why someone might accept Christ, but they still might cuss a little bit here or there. They still might get angry here or there. They still might do things that they shouldn't do here and there. But as, but as they get used to the Holy Spirit, or as they get used to sober living, they, the, their brain starts craving that junk. Their brain stops craving sin. And it starts craving the things of God. You know, when I came out here, I had a terrible diet. I used to love like Snickers and like potato chips. I would, I would like to go to McDonald's and Burger King. My, like, my favorite place was called like Wingstop. They had fried wings. I used to go get, love going get fried wings. And, and then when I came here, there was no, no, no fast food joints. Like they got KFC, but I don't like KFC. But I can't find a McDonald's. And so it was a shock to my system. I'm like, Yo, where's all the fast food that I'm used to? Now, 
And then as I talk to the locals, they're like, they're like trying to try the food here, try the fruit and the and the vegetables here. They're great. Where I'm from, our food is like manufactured by chemicals. So it tastes terrible. I'd rather have a burger than eat an apple from America. I'd rather have some chips than eat a, a pineapple from America. But when I got to Uganda, oh my gosh, Mama. the pineapples taste like God created them. The avocados taste like God created them. Like God created them. The bananas taste like God created them. And so I started eating good food. I no longer crave uh, french fries and burgers uh, and tacos. I want a fresh pineapple. Uh, I want a fresh pineapple. Or it tastes the avocado. 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 Or it tastes the because the food is so good that comes from the ground in Africa that it's bearable to eat. And what that did is it changed my inside. It changed my appetite. So now I have an appetite for things that taste not only taste good, but are good for your body. And that's what a life of a Christian is. If metaphorically tacos are sin, if metaphorically fast food is a sin, God wants to feed you with the fruit, with the uh, with the holy fruit of life. So you no longer have to dine on the trash that that. Uh, that, that man creates but you can die on the goodness the goodness of the gift that God offers us